Hey guys, so I wanted to take you along behind the scenes of creating a lookbook. So tomorrow I'm working with one of my good friends, Emily, amazing, amazing girl, and she's going to help me film my winter lookbook. Lookbooks are actually the hardest to film and the hardest to edit um, in terms of the videos that I do. So with a lookbook, I usually come up with a vision and that vision usually comes from a song. And then I usually compose the outfits. Now I've just done that and I want to show you the state of my room. So I usually try it on first, see what accessories can go with it. Um, and then, yeah, kind of set it out so I know what to bring. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to leave the house at 10am um, because we're working with the sun here and I'm hoping to get really good shots in the sun and I've calculated the time for a certain location for when the sun hits perfectly on that location. Alright, so I wanted to quickly show you guys how I packed the outfits. So I will be wearing one of the outfits. What I've done to kind of keep everything getting messy and so I could... Um, easily get into my outfits without unpacking my entire suitcase is putting the outfits in the coats so voila and I'm just going to be stacking them on top of each other I'll put this in the suitcase but I'll probably just throw that in the car and I'm thinking of wearing this one this is the most complex one and the most heaviest and then I have this one and for the bag I will need to put it in the dust bag I don't want anything happening to my mum's bag so yeah, I've done the same with this one, the coat and the jeans. If you're packing for a trip somewhere where it's cold, I recommend doing that. That way all your clothes are nice and tucked and not going to be damaged. For the shoes, I'll be putting them in plastic bags and just storing them on the side of the suitcase. This is one of the bags for the outfits. So I'm going to put my clutch and this bag inside here. That is called space saving. And then I'm also gonna put my makeup bag in here. And I'm just gonna leave this in the car and I'm gonna put it in the suitcase. And in the Chanel bag, I've just kept sunglasses. So I've got three, I've got the witchery ones. These like yellow gentle monster inspired ones. And I've also got, I've also got these gold Ray-Ban inspired ones. These two are from eBay. Also got my wallet in here too. And I've just stored that vertically so I can put my water bottle. It's very important when filming and my makeup bag. So it all fits. This is one outfit and I could even put more clothes. I can put them on the side and then this is the other side of the suitcase. So it all fits. There's two outfits in here. So I'm very, very happy with that because this is just a small carry-on. And when I say small, it is very small. I'll show you. Like, it's really, really small. It's just a seven kilo carry-on. It's everything. That's amazing. Um, this is to show that you can pack three outfits with coats, very heavy coats, for a three-day trip. Hey guys, it's Monday and it is currently heavy raining at the moment. We're going to reschedule to Thursday to film, but I wanted to show you guys this is what happens when you work with outdoor settings. And the natural weather. Thursday should be fine. It says that it's gonna be sunny on Thursday, so. Hi guys! So today is the day of the lookbook photo shoot thing. I'm just waiting on Emily to pick me up, but I've got all my stuff with me and I'm wearing one of the outfits for the lookbook. So I'm all nice and warm. It's a little bit chilly right now, but the weather is beautiful and I'm hoping that everything goes to plan. Um, so I'll show you guys real quick what I packed with me. So here I've got the dolly, I've got the suitcase, the tripod. Hey guys, so we're just on set and I'm with Emily. And we're just trying oh, to figure okay, out like key. the camera settings. Okay, it's um, a little confusing, but we found our location and I'll show you guys. We're just at this building near RMIT. There's 50 Basically, it's all RMIT. And I usually walk around here and I found uh, this building, 50, 20, which looks almost basically identical to the Chanel Boutique near Collins Street. Um, but it's not obviously the Chanel Boutique, but it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And we're going to try and film an outfit right here. A lot of people walking by, but should be good. I've got like my yellow sunglasses on and everything, but it's fun. It's whatever. Everyone's looking. Ooh. Hey guys, so we were just shooting and now it is completely raining right now. Like drenched, heavy raining. We're hoping it'll pass. It did sprinkle before and it passed. I really hope it will pass because we still have three more outfits to film. We filmed two and they were amazing thanks to Emily. 
Hi! She's an amazing videographer photographer. But yeah, we're gonna try and finish these outfits and then eat, but we're so hungry and yeah, and then we're gonna go to Melissa's house, aka Emily's house. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is Melissa's sister. We're gonna go to their house for movie night, so I'm very excited. But I really hope this passes, so wish us luck. Legit, I wasn't kidding. But it's really heavy rain. It's crazy. Look at this. This is all my stuff. It's hectic, isn't it, MLI? It's hectic. Hectic, hectic. Oh, this is the best photo. Oh, let's show them. <laughs> it's blurry. I'm <laughs> oh. <laughs> kidding. It's actually. No, I was just trolling. It is blurry. Yeah, I know. Oh. I was like, this is the best photo. <laughs> I'm trolling. <laughs> I couldn't see it before. <laughs> So we just finished filming the last oh, outfit, yay! So exciting. Shout out to Emily, amazing work by her. Oh, that sun glare. Beautiful, the sun came through. We're at Melissa's house. I mean, Melissa and Melissa's house. And Emma's, we're, at Melissa, we're at Melissa and Emily's house and we watched a movie and we cooked. It and we follows. Cooked. And Finn is here, Emily's there, and Shirley was there. We've got strawberries and bananas and chocolate. We're excited! And oh, ice cream! Oh, yeah. oh, that's all right. We've like got ice cream. Shirley. 20 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Em and Finna, for organizing this. We're watching Princess Diaries, of course. Girls' night. Oh my god, I love this. Strawberries, ice cream, chocolate. Hey guys, so um, just an update on what happened with the photo shoot for the lookbook. All the photos turned out absolutely amazing. My friend Emily is so, so, so talented and she did such an amazing job. This is her pixie set website and you can see all the photos from it. I'll link it below, but they are absolutely amazing. I am so happy with them. I don't want to show you guys too much because I want you guys to actually go on the site yourselves. For the clips, they turned out really really shaky and it's not her it's i think it's the camera or the mode that sh she put it in it was in a like it i think it's raw or something because the images as well like when i import them to my phone i couldn't upload them on instagram or anything because it said that the images were too raw or something like that so i had to convert them so with the clips i'll show you what i mean by shaky it's the frames are like really bad like look at that hold on let me try playing it for you guys if I pause it, you can see just how shaky it is. Like, it wasn't, like, her. It was the camera and the mode that it was in. You can see there's, like, three frames in one. Look. Look how many frames there are. It's just really, really, really bad. And I'm really, really sad, mainly because she put so much effort doing this for me. We did it early in the morning. It, it took us a whole day to do this, and she did it voluntarily as well. Like, I didn't pay her anything. I just feel so, so, so bad because I really hope that it turned out really well. I was so excited because I haven't, you know, done this before, and it all turned out so nice. I mean, look at the photos. Like, they turned out so well, and the video clips as well, and I was so excited and then that happens so you can really see that there are technical difficulties and this shit does happen i've tried putting it on final cut pro and tried doing the optical flow like fixing the frames per second i've tried converting it into different files i've tried opening it on my photos album opening it on vlc I'm just trying to do as much as i can that's all i can do i can't do anything else so very, very sad because all those videos can't be used. At least we got really, really good photos though. I want you guys to know that we actually put so much effort into this and it's so, so upsetting that this had to happen and I, now I feel bad for asking for help again. I'm going to try and film my next lookbook on my own, um, which I have been doing for most of my lookbooks. I just wanted really, really cool shots for you guys because my video content and quality is something that I really, really care about and I wanted to give you guys the best that I could with lookbooks because they're my favourite kind of videos to do and they really dictate my my passion. It's not going to stop me from trying again, so I'm going to try again and film another lookbook again. Unfortunately, this lookbook was for winter and it's not winter anymore. Um, all these outfits, as you can see, are winter outfits, so yeah, but it's okay. I'll find another way to get this up. That is all for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you always for watching and let's hope there are no more technical difficulties, which I doubt, but I can hope for the best, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.